in late winter and extremely early spring, I always start to trim back some of my plants. A lot of people don't realize that you need to trim certain things back before the new growth comes. And that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you to do. Rose bushes and ornamental grasses all need to be trimmed before they start to leaf out for a new year. I use knockout roses all around my farm. I love them for their ease of care and disease resistance, but they can be overgrown if you don't tend to them every year. A lot of people don't realize the maintenance that a lot of bushes can take, especially rose bushes. I like to trim my roses back so they're only a foot up from the ground. Throughout the year, they can grow four to five feet high round, but if you trim them back, this gives them a great new base and shape to start with. You don't have to worry about being too neat or too uniform when cutting your rose bushes back. You just wanna make sure that you have an even cut so that there's not jagged plants. I like to have them be about a foot high off the ground all around. This is also a great time to look for any dead branches that are in the plants and cut those out as well. Cutting back is extremely important. Otherwise your plants will get woody and the stems will get too stocky and you won't have a lot of foliage down at the base of the plant. Cutting them back allows for new growth to pop out from the bottom. This will give a lot fuller and more beautiful bush later on and a lot healthier bloom throughout the season. I'm also starting to trim back all of my ornamental grasses. We love ornamental grasses and a lot of people do for their great look throughout the seasons. Not only are they beautiful in the summer with their different color foliage and plumes of flowers in the fall, but throughout the winter they offer a great natural landscape with their dry colors. But come spring it is important to cut them back before the new leaves start from the bottom. You want to cut them back as far to the ground as you can. Some people even burn them, but if they're close to the house, I suggest only trimming them with your hedge trimmers all the way to the ground. Using your trimmers, just knit them as far down as you can. This will allow the new growth to come out. If you do it too late and the new leaves are starting to already pop through, that's okay. If you trim them back, they'll still come back after being trimmed. I have a lot of grasses around the farm, and so this can be a long process. So as soon as you can start in the spring or late winter is a great idea. This is also the time that I start to trim back all of my sedum flowers. The flowers have been dried and dyed over the winter and they're ready to be cut back. Sometimes you can just break them off at the bottom, but I find trimming them can be a little bit easier on the plant. As you can see, some of these have already started the new growth at the bottom of the plant. This is such an exciting thing to see after a long, hard winter that we've had here in the Midwest, that there is new growth and spring is coming. It's so great to get out here and start to trim back the flowers and the plants and know that soon there will be some beautiful green foliage and, and not too long after that, some great flowers to enjoy. I hope you're able to get out and start all your spring work with cleaning out your flower beds, trimming back your plants, and getting a great start on your year.